All right, jumping back into Final Fantasy 13. So we last left off with Eden under siege. So we uh, came back to Cocoon, um, and with us, uh, a bunch of portals started opening up, monsters started attacking, obviously soldiers are trying to figure it out, people are just hanging out, like it's, it's all, essentially Pulse has attacked in the minds of the citizenry of, uh... oh wait, they're attacking me? Oh shoot. Yeah, they don't like us either. They kind of see us as uh, as as the as the villain. They believe we're part of the attack force. But yeah, they they, they believe it's a full scale invasion from uh, from Grand Pulse here to destroy Cocoon. Um, we did help one soldier, uh, and you know he's you know he was gonna die, then we helped him. Maybe he'll come back and vouch for us. I don't know, but we'll see. Maybe. Oh, I was so cool. I swear to you. I was so close to getting that preemptive. I, I, I felt it. I felt it in my bones. I thought we were going to get there. That is annoying. Alright, let's just see what we can do against Hambaba. We can do some good damage because we're just strong. At the end of the day, we're just so insanely strong. I could go. I could go try uh, try Ravager, but it probably doesn't really matter. Having double is probably enough, and the commando ideally will make it so the stagger doesn't just plummet when uh, when it hits 700. percent Although Snow has taken a bit of damage. I mean, I know I brag about how strong he is and like how he's got the bangles and he's insane. He could die. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna heal or anything. I'm just gonna play stupid. Yep. I'm gonna play stupid, and it worked. Very, very lucky that worked. My goodness, we almost died there. On today's episode of I Shouldn't Be Alive. My gosh. All right, well, before we progress forward, I think that's, we got that treasure over there. I think we're good to, to keep on going. That. Sometimes the jumps, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes the jumps just look like they're comically large. You know what I mean? Like it did, that didn't even look real when we jumped up. It was like that looks fake. <laughs> oh man, bit of a shame. Jumping down doesn't look as bad. Oh wow. More Adam and Shellets, maybe. I hope so. That's the only one I've been able to take on and defeat, to be honest. Alright, so, I mean, normally on Grand Pulse, we would just avoid fights because we were like, who cares? We're going to try to do all the fights here because it, it just makes sense. We do get a preemptive? 100% attack on Baba. On Baba's got to, got to take the L here. And then surely uh, all the soldiers will see me kill Hambaba and just not hurt me because they know we're on the same side. Surely that will happen. Well, I feel we are actually working together right now, me and the soldiers. But we're all chill? No, we're not chill. Alright, they're gonna fight me. They're gonna fight me. They're not going. They're not going home today. They're gonna. They're gonna get some injuries. They're going to the hospital. If it's even, I don't know what's happening. It could, that could also be under attack. I think pretty much everything in Eden is under attack.
Maybe I should just leave him. Like if we're if we're gonna be in the situation where oh I guess I should have encountered the um, soldiers because I think that would have actually given me the preemptive. What a bummer. Swipe at uh, lightning there. All right, so that's taking a lot of damage. I gotta bring Shiva out. I gotta kill the soldiers. I left them alive because I thought we'd be fine. I thought they'd continue attacking the Humbaba like last time, but they're they're attacking me, and I don't like that. So I gotta kill them. We had like 600 HP or something for Snow. He, he was going to die there. Snow was a dead man. That was no good. pretty low and I don't know if uh, I don't know if the soldiers are also going to get Shiva's um, gestalt gauge lower <laughs> felt like a safe bet to, to go for that then let's ride Zero stars. Honestly, understandable. Because we were just, like, taking damage from the soldiers. Again, I, I don't know if we actually help them, but we're going to try. I think encountering the soldiers is the play. I think 100% of the time. I'm not even going to give him a chance to not attack me. I'm just going to take them all out. It's the only, it's the only real answer. Sanctum Archangel. Or Archangel. Interesting. Any treasure I'm missing? I can never encounter them, so if I just stand still, eventually they'll encounter me. It'll take like five minutes, but you know. I just as soon as get it out of the way. Such an insane amount of damage. We are just doing so well. I'm still waiting for the Crystarian expansion before I uh, level up all my, like, you know, Vanille, Fang, and, and Hope. Um, but I, I eventually we'll get there. I mean, what is it? What are our points at? 500k? Again, in an effort to uh, attack everything, I think we should. Oh, he's, he's looking at me. He knows. Okay, we'll fight you. Four defender, all right, well, let's take this guy out. No problem.
Five perfect conductors. All right, call me stupid. I'm fine. With Please tell me these are Adam and Chalets. They are. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Then we're going to go bully, get, trying to get the Synergist stuff up, as well as the um, Saboteur, of course. I mean, the, to debuff an Adam and Chell is actually really easy. Like, it, it seems to hit every time. It might just have like a, a naturally low uh, defense against you know, those kind of attacks. I'm guessing. I, I have no real idea. Again, as I'm as I'm in this fight, though, I am reminded that I haven't set up a good medic uh, setup yet. Let's mix things up. Let's just end this fast, if we can. All right, we can end it fast. All right, I'm gonna go simple here. Uh, Paradigm, customize, uh, commando, medic, rapture. Easy. Uh, it gets us on two different roles for medic, or two different people for medic, which is nice. Oh, there, there's treasure. Nice. I don't think I had to defeat the Adam and Chelwood for this, but might as well. 15k. Hello, other Adam and Chellid. Might as well start with the uh, the one I'm looking for. Saboteur, but it is not going well. I mean, let's go. Let's go diversity. I, I want to go try disaster. I'm so nervous because Wani and Saz look like they're about to fold in like two seconds. Uh, let's just go for it. Let's just. Like, we might die, but let's just go for it. It's fine. We got there. All right. Well, we cleared out all the enemies. I don't think it really matters, but, you know, we're, we're trying to help. And Adam and Chellas at this point are just, like, such an easy encounter. I mean, they can still kill us. Don't get me wrong. But uh, it's a lot easier than it previously was, that's for sure. Anything below? No. Any treasure I'm missing? No. The X just marks where the uh, Adam and Chella died, I believe. So I was yelling at us to tell us we're going the wrong way. Love it. do here per se looks like my okay my camera's broken um yeah i guess just full steam ahead hello it's me oh <laughs> netflix started playing that's not good Yeah. 
As I'm like doing the thumbnail, I uh, have my phone up here to like listen, to, uh, watch Netflix and you stuff. But then sometimes it just starts playing, man. I should probably just like put the phone away when I start recording because it causes so much grief. It starts doing things on its own. It's crazy. It's got a mind of its own. Alright, Proto Behemoth is super screwed. The interesting thing about the Proto Behemoth, when it stands up, it doesn't full heal. Like, it's. Uh, the Proto Behemoth, isn't that like a part of their. Uh, that forest area we went? They're trying to, like, make monsters into weapons, but. Didn't they just make a Behemoth worse? Like, wouldn't, wouldn't that argument be the case if, if it can't heal when it stands up? I mean, it killed this guy, I guess. So there's that, but still. It feels like they just made a worse Behemoth. Although they have made a Behemoth obey them, so there is that. I suppose there is. There's a silver lining in that regard. What's this? That's a crazy door. How you doing? I wanna go home right now. Not well, got it. Anywhere safe in this city? I don't Just go to Grand Pulse, dude. All the monsters left and came here, so might as well. If we don't, if we didn't, don't, don't intervene at all, what is the thought that, uh, like, could, could Cocoon actually deal with this assault? Like, could they kill all the enemies that are showing up? I don't know. Honestly, my go-to is to say yeah. I think they could eventually gain control of the situation. Like, if, it, here's, here's, the, here's the situation. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, explain it, but... Like, if Bartanda was summoned all these monsters here, and Cocoon just had to deal with the initial assault, I think they could do it. If Bartanda was kept on summoning monsters here, then, like, no. They it's over. And I believe that's what happened. I, I might have to read back on some of the, uh, some of the, the data logs to make sure I'm right. Because I, I feel like this is, Bartanda was summoned monsters, and, and things got, things got crazy. Because, you know, he does that kind of stuff. He's, he's... He's just, he's just kooky like that. Sometimes he summons monsters to destroy an entire civilization. And that's just like his day. You see that? No problem. I'm supposed to go? Ah, uh, sorta. Actually, before we do anything more, who are they attacking? Each other? <laughs> Let's actually do that. Let's actually look at events. What's happened? The road home. Fang and Vanille visit their home in Erba for the first time in centuries, seeking a way to free themselves from the Wasi curse. But what they find is a broken and empty shell of a town, half buried in a sea of crystal dust. Meanwhile, Cocoon, the home of their fellow Wasi, is poised to join the village in oblivion. There, the people stand ready to slaughter each other, their minds twisted by foul sea illusions. The Lassie have no choice but to return and prevent the impending devastation. Even if, every, if, even if every man, woman, and child on the floating world regards them as mortal enemies, it is still their home. But the shackles of the foul sea yet bind their fates, with their focus haunting their every step. The very act of setting foot on Cocoon might invite disaster. Yet return they must. There is a war to stop, and Falsi rule to overthrow. In this darkest hour, they must hold fast to hope if they are to protect Cocoon. The time for appealing to long-departed deities, lost loved ones, or lights in the sky is past. As the Lassie fly towards their final destiny, they make the only choice that remains to them, a promise to be true to themselves. Lightning and her friends return to Cocoon, 
only to be greeted by the sudden appearance of an army of mechanical monsters and gigantic beasts. The Falci have activated the Ark, hidden beneath the capital, releasing an army of Pulsian terrors into the city. Oh yeah, I forgot it was underneath the capital. That's why they all show that. With the army in panic disarray, the cavalry seizes its chance. Captain Rigdia leads his troops in an assault on the Sanctum offices and confronts the new Primarch, his former superior and comrade-in-arms, Sid Reigns. Reigns calmly welcomes his own demise, revived to serve as Barthandalus' pawn. He nevertheless retains a sliver of the free will he possessed as a human. Or sl sliver of the will he possesses as a human. And it is humans who must decide Cocoon's future, not Fauci's slaves. The cavalry presses on with its plan to slay Orphan, unaware that this effort to save the world will only lead to total destruction. Barthandalus has twisted the cavalry's desire for freedom to meet his own design. The Lassie must stop the cavalry from reaching the heart of Eden before it is too late. Eden under siege. The creatures once held in stasis within the Ark are now rampaging through the streets of Eden, but this merely marks the beginning of Cocoon's collapse into chaos. Once news of the Pulse invasion spreads to a populace already in the grip of panic, the people will be whipped into a frenzy of terror, and the ensuing or orgy <laughs> of violence will tear society apart. That is a word you can use for that. Uh, yet Cocoon... Someone had fun writing these. Yet Cocoon may not survive long enough for that to happen. Even now, the members of the cavalry charge into the heart of the capital, unwittingly seeking to extinguish the source of power that keeps Cocoon aloft. Orphan. Their idealism is being used against them. Their quest for liberation is just another cog in Marthandalus' scheme to call back the Maker. He will see the world shattered and offer the lives of its inhabitants in sacrifice. See, that part I got right. I got the arc one a little bit weirdly. I was I had, I had said that they're teleported from Grand Pulse. No, it's underneath the capital. It's from the arc. Uh, but yeah, he wants to call out the Maker. Fearing they may already be too late, the Lassie rush after the cavalry through a city engulfed in the flames of war. Cocoon Society. The Home Guard. This Guardian Corps unit is stationed in the capital city of Eden. The most elite soldiers in the Corps, the Home Guard, is on equal footing with Psycom in terms of sheer military might. As part of an organization that accepts only the best troops the army has to offer, Home Guard veterans are well respected in Cocoon society, even after their retirement. Enemy intel, probably a bit. Unremarkable, love that. I mean, it's, it's cool to see like a few of these descriptions. I think we're just too strong for some of it to matter. Oh, incentive chips. That's cool, I guess. The perfect conductors are actually kind of nice. I think those will uh, be very valuable in, in increasing our uh, accessories and weapons and such. Are you okay, lady? Because there's like a bunch of fighting going on. No, it's not. It's fine. How the preemptive strike is just uh it's just snow like walking around and hitting everyone and, and that's really funny because like it's the slowest thing i've ever seen so the fact that it's an ambush is, is it's a little bit of a funny description for something like that i should have gone after the vampires first i just auto battled and chose whoever but that was a mistake What we really need to do is we need to change our default to that paragon, to be honest. Alright, yeah, we're gonna go through here. <laughs> that soldier is just brutalized, my god. Caught in the whirlwind. That's a rough life.
I do want to say we get six ATB gauges. So that's going to be nice for like a triple blitz. That'll be really nice. Alright, yeah, I'm not going to get a good rating here. I think starting a lot with Synergist Saboteur no is not the key to a good rating in random encounters. Oh wow, I actually get a really good rating. I lied. That 5 out of 5 stars surprises me. That's not what I expected. Oh, what's that guy? I want to face him. I definitely want to fight him. Honestly, I want to fight him. Bring him all on. No fear. Forge Blade. Sure. Thanks. Honestly, this one, Sinner just have a turn, might be decent. We'll keep it for a bit. Dude, he is just dicing snow. That is crazy. All that damage. Let's go relentless. I think that'll be better. I don't know. I was kind of attacking the blade. That's kind of dumb. Let's just attack the, the tyrant. Because if we kill him, then the blade like doesn't matter. Like the blade, the fight actually ends. Because nothing can control the blade. It's not like sentient. Or anything like that. Alright, so we've got that that kill done. Interesting. Uh, let's continue going this way. The reason we want to go this way, also, like, again, I talk about this all the time. I'm going to actually do it this time. I'm going to change my paradigm. But the reason we want to go this way is because it's basically going backwards, right? We want to cover all the ground we can, get all the optional content we can. Like, we don't want to, we don't want to skip out on anything or skip a, uh, you know, something cool. stabilize the stagger even if we don't actually like fulfill the stagger of the 255 percent here like we can just do more damage if it's higher which is nice yeah i probably should swap like paradigms often isn't it like a thing in the game where you should be swapping paradigms pretty frequently throughout battle because it refills the atv gauge i feel like that was a thing that i just don't do anymore but I want to say that was like a factor of the game. That's how it's done. That's how it's done, alright. That's what she says, that's what she says. Oh, this is like the orb orbas or whatever. That's insane. I got a preemptive because I touched a soldier who didn't see me, but all the uh, all the Orabons saw me. Like that's crazy. That's so unfair for them. Later. Start attacking the soldiers. Huh. 
because the soldiers will hit the ore bond, will hit the soldiers, uh, and it'll all it'll all make sense. Moistened scale and a credit chip. Good to get the credit. There's a treasure. See, this is why we go off the beaten path. This is why we go backwards, man. We get a Weaver Scope, which I actually don't care for that much, but we, we get it. We certainly get it. Okay, come on, buddy. I'm trying to fight you. Stop, stop running away. Adam and Theron, that's kind of crazy. I don't know, have we faced these guys before? Yeah, encountering new enemies is also one of the bonuses of uh, going off the beaten path. Sinister Fang. Nice. Oh, let's go the actual right way. <laughs> I just start going the wrong way completely. It's embarrassing. Are they just chilling together? What's going on here? I guess maybe these are just the, uh... The, these are the enemies that are, like, created to work alongside, uh, You know, the Sanctum. War cry. Let's take care of this guy quick then. He's gonna get haste and bravery. Like, let's get him out of here. I have no interest in facing that. So I was gonna take a beating, but that's fine. We'll get there, right? Just saw a lightning block and attack. That was interesting. That doesn't happen all the time. Mana drive haste, mana drive bail. Um, just having this many people focusing though, I, I think it's, it's, it's curtains. Lightning may go down, Saz may, get that, may go down, but snow will remain. Yeah, it's over. Sucks to suck. Get chipped fang. No, no actual chips though, no incentive or credit. I was actually open for that, to be honest. Um, oh wait, hold up. Did I go the right? Okay, no. I went the wrong way. That's fine. We're not trying to progress the story yet, because we haven't but been up here. You okay, buddy? Are we gonna die? He knows right there and we can't get in. Yeah, makes sounds about right. So essentially what we're doing, we're just doing we're just doing a loop real quick and then we're gonna go to Eden Hall, I suppose. Should be fun, should be fun. the real damage let's go and perfume perfume can be sold for a premium actually that's really nice uh, can I ambush this guy I'm gonna stand still although I might backing up was probably a better idea Hello, it's me, Vernal Harvester. That's all I named my child, Vernal Harvester. Nice.
then I think this is just like respawns. But honestly, I don't mind. We'll just we'll just go through again. It's fine. We we might not fight everything again because there's no point, right? If we if we face something once, it's fine. But uh, I just I just want to make sure that I've done everything that I can to to get everything I can. We should also check uh, Christian points. Although I can't imagine we got half a million um, just off these fights. But we are in the like late stage of the game. Things drop more points. We just have to make sure like Vanille, Hope, and um, Fang aren't just maxed out. You know what I mean? Oh, not even close. Uh, wow, yeah, not even. They're fine. That I was trying to hit a soldier. I think I hit a vampire, but I think it worked. Now let's hit the soldiers, because we did a we did a number on those vampires. Let me tell you. Now let's hit the vampires. See, we're we're. We're, we're alternating. We're being fair. Okay, he's dead. He is absolutely... As God is my witness, he is broken in half. That was disgusting. That was so, that was so strong. Nice. Credit chip. All credit goes to chip. Wait, hold up. Have they not respawned? I thought they'd respawn at this point. That's crazy. If they haven't, like, wow. Nothing going on here. I I'm overthinking this. I'm like, what if there's like a, like a, you know, uh, a, a jump to get on top of that to get a treasure you know like I'm, I'm thinking like oh like complex like what if they're trying to trick me you know they're not like there's nothing there should have tried to encounter a soldier what a mistake That blitz is crazy. The amount of people that were just in the vicinity of taking it, insane. Oh wow, I am taking way too much damage. Am I like in trouble? What's going on here? I don't, I don't like how this is going. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I think we're better now. We took a lot of damage. This feels like a zero out of five. Cause this, is, this shouldn't happen. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be having this kind of stress in our lives. Like, what, what is this? Perfume sick again. That is so good. I think it sells for like five digits. It, it, either that or like 7,500. It, it sells for a good amount. I know that much. I know it's good. Just completely kicked. The biggest whiff you've seen. Wait, did I miss that treasure? That's insane. How did I miss that? I am blind. 
All right, yeah, six particle accelerators, pretty good. That would have been a, a, a unfortunate miss. I was walking and I just saw something like jumping up and down. I was like, what? Is that an enemy? And I was like, no, it's, it's just a treasure we completely uh, ignore. Karate. Right to snow. Right to him. That should be it. And then one more. And whenever we focus down on one person, it's always it's always quite a bit better, of course. So because there's no one else trying to hit us, and we've got everyone kind of firing, firing all they've got. I kind of feel like the tyrant's more annoying. I don't know if that's a controversial take, but I feel like we can't hit the tyrant. Although that being said, I can just hit them both, I suppose. Oh, but the Vernal Harvester's already like fine. Oh yeah, there's no more, there's no more stagger. I'm putting a lot of faith in that Vernal Harvester is going to kill Tyrant, but I, I don't think he did enough damage. It's kind of a shame. I thought he had it in him, man. What's Tyrant at right now? Uh, decent ish amount. And then same idea. We'll, uh, we'll attack Tyrant and believe that, you know, Vernal Harvester can help us with this. If it's not already dead. I wonder if the blade goes away if we uh, kill uh, kill Tyrant. Because we've only ever fought Tyrant in like a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, it does? Nice. That's kind of cool. It's a cool little... Uh, I guess that's how it works. It says like, if Tyrant dead, then so am I. Kind of a uh, kind of idea. I'm not missing anything. I'm going to hit the outside here. Any treasure chests we see floating? Anything. I don't believe we've missed anything. Let's go forward. That looks good to me. I feel like we've done our due diligence to check out everything. Find another way in. There's no time for that. It's just gonna open up uh, or something. Uh, 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 there we go. Gate catch a beat. Hero. Oh. Lame. Yo, let's go. Hey, yeah, Snow. Hey, <laughs> where you been? <laughs> Guys, it's huge and all those folks. His name is huge, right? The blue haired guy. So, Snow, you're a pulseless sea now, huh? Yeah, good times. Then why didn't you tell us? Why the hell didn't you come and find us? Well, we were bu busy running, so there was that. Yeah, we've been waiting. Us and the rest of the Purge fugitives. <laughs> <laughs> but damn, those 
Those Pulse Falci sure know how to pick them. Yeah. Out of all the idiots in the world, they choose this one. Oh, hey, hey, now wait just a minute here. I am your fearless leader. You're not supposed to laugh at the boss. What? Oh. Just like old times, huh, boss? Don't you worry. We'll take care of the civilians. And you concentrate on saving Cocoon. We all will, together. <laughs> He's different than <laughs> when they met him last time. He's way different. Now. What's our motto? He's I'll waiting for it. For Nora. <laughs> they, they were definitely sitting there like, is that the same dude? Because he was crying last time. He was he was weeping. I mean, that's fair, though. His mom had just died. I mean, that's a, that's a tough role. So it's gonna throw me off if there's actual enemies in here, because wasn't this like where they're safe or something? Oh, there's certainly enemies. I see how that's designed. Antares Deluxes. What do those do? What are those? Team chain bonus boost. I'll have to read up on that stuff some more. Try to figure out what our ideal strategy is and our ideal ultimate weapon, of course. Well, that's not good. Oh, well, I guess, uh, I guess the fighting never stops. Time to strike. All right, time to strike. I get you. Didn't turn around fast enough, buddy. Wait, what? He did? I thought that was going to be an ambush for sure. That's goofy. Two Hambaba. I still feel like we get this. Like, easy. I think we just uh, we just focused on one. That's probably the best thing we can do. I mean, he's gonna full heal, but the stagger's so high, um, and it's just going up further and further. We'll do we'll do some real damage here. Snow taking the most the brunt of the hits is good. He's got 12k HP. Uh, so yeah, we feel we feel great. We're just having a good old time. Lightning is pretty well, but we'll see how this goes. Oh, am I gonna die here? Wow, this is iffy. No, we're fine. Okay, cool. We just gotta heal a little bit, I think, and we'll be fine. We gotta get a better cure spell. We need to like cure Ja or something crazy. That's what I'm thinking. If we get something of that degree, I think we're gonna really, really pop off. Win this! 
in fire. I don't love that fast, but sure. Good debuffs on the Hamaba, though. What is that? I'm not messing around. We're just gonna renew. That's the easiest thing I can do. I know it's probably unnecessary because I'm gonna kill him like right now. Yeah, it was completely unnecessary. But uh, I don't know. It got it got kind of sticky there. me don't mind me Juggernaut is ambushed. Love it. All right, he's got. He's got to be cooked here. He's got to be cooked. Dude, even with like the stagger so high, we're not doing a lot of damage. That's a little bit uh, discouraging. Oh, but in the air, that's. Good. Did not do as much as I had hoped. Yeah, maybe half, but just just over actually. Oh well, that, that final hit was actually kind of sick. Good. Just follow along. A little bit concerned about the super blast there. We're gonna heal maybe a little bit. See what we can do. Uh, maybe we actually just go try disaster. Maybe I throw. I got an idea here. And it's just off. Oh, but the the try disaster not increase it nearly as much as I thought it would. Um, we're probably in danger. Did that miss? I didn't see it hit anyone. That was interesting. Gosh, I just want to renew and then, like, pop off. But I don't know if it makes sense or not. The, the fear is that I die here. That would just be so tragic. Snow does still have a lot of HP though, so that's a good sign. Because of the uh, because of the cactar business, I, I still would like the idea of um, getting him more bangle. So like doing the uh, doing the dark matter or trapezohedron or whatever we need to do on his currently equipped bangle to give him more HP. I think that's a I don't know I, I genuinely think that's a good idea. I think that makes sense. We survive. Man, you're taking too much damage. We um, gosh, I'm using Renew too much. Thanks. That's what I think. So that's what I think it was. We survive. Oh, we gotta use it. Please. Okay, cool. It casts in time. That was nerve wracking. Because I had 200 HP. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Ah, oh, 
gosh, he just I think he just has too much HP for us to to go for the uh to go for anything like fancy with the assaulting. I mean at the end of the day I should have summoned Shiva. I realize now. I should have just summoned Shiva. That was the answer. No, I can't summon Shiva. We gotta win this. I mean I could maybe get the renewal off, but that seems unlikely. Dude, it is absolutely insane. Just how like how much HP this juggernaut has. We ambushed this guy, by the way. Like, for the curious, we we got behind him and we ambushed him. This is still the situation we find ourselves in. It is uh it is it is somewhat shocking. Um, wait, I'm so stupid. I thought the, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. I thought this, oh my gosh, I thought the Sentinel build, the Paradigm was, I'm, I'm mad. I thought the Paradigm that was Sentinel was snow on Sentinel. Why was it not? Why is it, why is lightning on Sentinel there? Oh man, I messed it up. I must have, did I make that one? I don't even know. 100% switching that. Um, that's so dumb. Um, oh man. I don't want to fight him, but I have to. Gosh, I'm just stuck in the worst spot. Um, okay, okay, okay. Oh, what do we have? Controversial, yes, but we're gonna do it. How about this? Oh, that was actually a bad move. That that this? stagger's going down crazy. Should have gone three commandos, actually, probably, to be honest. Okay, what are we doing, what are we doing, what are we doing? He's got poison, that's very neat. I'm gonna try to really switch paradigms often. Like constantly. See if that does anything for me. I don't know if the switching is doing anything good. <laughs> you know, I'm like, um, I'm pretty low, but I'm, I'm kind of like doing a lot of damage. I don't know. Tough to say where we are. Ooh, what was Decimation? I meant to be try. Uh, that sort of works. I don't love it, actually. So it's just fine. I wanted to get a stagger off of immediately. Get in the air. Perfect. Got haste on our party. Or at least on saws and snow, and that's that's actually that's everything we can hope for. Definitely going robot with salt here. This is so much better than what we were doing before. Wow. 
I think we accidentally did a good job. Crazy. Oh, well, that was zero out of five stars still, but we killed him, so. I'm gonna say that was a good job, because I felt like it was a good job. We are going to have two Juggernauts. I have to face them both. I hate this. I, I, gen I, I just don't like the Juggernauts, man. They're too much. Too much to deal with, in my opinion. Should be able to kill him here. Ah, oh, but wow. Wow, he dies. that's actually really bad. It, it's bad because um, we need that damage output. If we're gonna be like basically like blitzing him, we got we need that damage output. We might be fine, but it's gonna take longer, and that's you know taking longer is kind of the opposite of the idea of a, a quick assault, a blitz, if you will. That's not really what that entails, you know. We're gonna do this really quick, but it's gonna take a long time. It's like that's those are two opposite things. I just wanna to get to the end of oh my gosh, is that an Adam and Shallot or something else? Hello. I think we had decided that this was uh Decimation's actually probably better for what I wanna do here. Let me sip some coffee while I try to get a good position here. I think I'm off like I'm I'm in I'm at like a diagonal to him and that doesn't make sense. I should position differently. Maybe. Unless he turns right now. No! Get away. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Get away. I need I need I desperately, desperately need that ambush, I think. I feel like he's just so alert. This is taking longer than I thought it would. Um, it's fine. I think I've got a solid plan. I think we'll do this a lot faster. Is he alert? He's so alert. I hate this. Um, how do I get, how do I get this guy? Like, how do I get him? You know? The other guy was so easy. I guess when I was approaching the other guy, it was like directly behind. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't do it. Um, let me figure this out. Let me, I need to, I need, I need to start like right here. Oh, but he gets, he sees me, right? Dude, I, I'm, okay, come on, I'm frustrated. Come on, come on, buddy, work with me. I'm walking slow. He, he just turns so quickly. <laughs> please. Dude, I am on my knees begging you. Please let me ambush you. I don't care anymore. Let's, let's do it. Come on, Juggernaut. I don't care anymore. I don't care. an idea here. I, I've got a different idea I want to try that I thought would work really great with a, a standard juggernaut and I'm going to see what happens if I do it with a non standard juggernaut. So we do that but then we go to bully because I think as a synergist um, yeah there it is uh, bravery, faith, and haste um, lightning just has different buffs and now she's fast so she can just she can just pop them out and then with that what we do is we try to ask her I'm 
then we relentless assault, and we just keep on going, and then we heal after this. Uh, maybe we heal. Maybe we don't, actually. We just tried his ass again, actually. I think the haste is the key there. Because I, I need, I need, uh... I need lightning spitting out buffs like crazy. Like, just fast. Like, just be like, alright, you're buff, you're buff, like, let's go, 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 kind of thing, you know? I'm trying to launch him, he just refuses to, to take flight. Alright, there it is. Yeah, it's over. He's not getting out of this stagger. Yeah, so I think if I, if I multi-roll here, and I understand that Saz might not have the ability to bravery, but Lightning does but he can haste first. I think we can do some really good stuff. I, I think that makes sense. That's what I'm, that's my latest theorem, if you will. Don't run away from me. I'm here to fight, dude. This is a little bit different because there's two of them. We can try the same idea, but it, it will work a little bit differently. I'm gonna also hold off a little bit longer. Alright, let's go bully. Alright, let's go try. Back to bully for this guy because we've already done the uh, the boost from um, haste. I want to see if there's any more from uh, from lightning. There it is. Okay, but also like the saboteur stuff. Can we really try? Dude, this is crazy. This is like the moment where I'm like, I'm just do I've been doing this combat system wrong, right? Like for sure. <laughs> like this is nuts. What's diversity? gonna have to honestly I think I'm gonna have to like spend some time off camera um, like like going through the Chris uh, hysteriums and stuff and like figuring out what each person can do and then like matching up their actual abilities and like I, I basically gotta like map out like what does my person do when they when they become a synergist like what do they cast uh, and then how do they complement each other because that's what's gonna have to ha happen right we have to do it like that I think so at least What's this? like pyreflies what is this huh some sort of crystal I don't like this it's cocoon falling apart already could be maybe orphans having trouble holding things together with all this fighting going on the clamor of this conflict rouses the maker Where? <laughs> that's a big yeah, bartandalus we're gonna stop this ruckus soon enough can you halt the cavalry's charge? Filled with righteousness, they will slaughter orphan in the name of freedom. Your only recourse will be to deliver them death, swift and certain. 
No. Unlike you, they'll listen to reason. <laughs> we will see about that. I shall savor the demise of Cocoon from atop the highest seat in all of Eden. Thanks for telling us that. You too should hurry along to the heart of our grand capital. Your loved ones miss you so. Come, let's see. Fulfill your destiny. Your destiny. We'll decide our own destiny. Right. Over Bartandalus's dead body. Wow. That is just something else. Hey, and they're all back. <laughs> all right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Well, that is actually going to wrap us up for today. A little bit longer. Uh, but we had to get through uh, get through all those enemies. But, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. When you come back, going to be playing more Final Fantasy 13. Until next time.